Hi, Grandma Mary here. And look who I'm with. It's Scott Monty. Man, I love this guy. He's fantastic. Scott, thanks so much for agreeing to be interviewed with, with Grandma. Uh, how could I refuse? I know. How could anyone refuse Grandma, huh? <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with Scott, Scott is the a voice extraordinaire, well, one of the voices extraordinaire of Ford. Ford, this car right here, this beautiful, lovely car. We got the Ford Fusion right behind us. And and Scott did a little keynote yesterday talking about the all the things that, that Ford does with social and how they rock the social space, in my opinion. And, and I just want to get a little bit more perspective on, on what you guys do over there at Ford and how you view social for, for your for your brand. Okay. What would you like to know? All right. That's a, yeah, it was a little too open, wasn't it? It was a little too open. Okay, let's talk first. Let's get specific. Let's get specific. You know what I want to talk about first because I love it is I want to talk about Focus Dub. Oh, boy. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with the Focus Dub campaign, he's a puppet. Uh, what's your why did you decide to launch this campaign for Focus Doug? Well, when you look at the people we were trying to reach for the new Focus, which had been completely reinvented, we brought over that uh, classic European design. We wanted to make it apparent to people here who were tired of the old Focus that we were here and we we're new. You know, we, we really got something exciting to share with them. So we needed to do something to really break out of the ordinary. It's not enough to just show the product features. So we yeah. wanted to put some personality behind it. You know a thing or two about I, you personality, know what? I'm right? telling you, I love personality. That's, I think my big motto is don't be boring, and that's why I love Focus, I love Focus Doug. Well, I, I could see you and Focus Doug getting along really well. Because Focus Doug, uh, we decided uh, to, to make a puppet who uh, could actually tell the story, not just about the vehicle, but about his relationship with his official Ford handler, who was kind of the straight man, and yes. Doug was wild and crazy, and you know, you can see where this is going, I, and why you guys I, get along. I right? love wild and crazy, and that's another thing I love. So uh, what it was, was uh, a 50 video arc, online only, that was about, excuse us, uh, <laughs> that was about, um, John and Doug and their zany adventures together, and people really had a good time getting to know them and you know wondering what they're going to do next. And the vehicle was you know in the background there, and people could certainly find out about the vehicle. But it was fun. It yeah. was fun and it was different. Yeah. So take away there, be fun, be different. But I also think the 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 story there is. You had that online only. Now, what was the approach? You, you decided not to have it in commercials, just online. What's your thought on having some on, online content only? Well, um, when we were going online, we, we could be uh, much more specific about targeting who we reach. When you go on television, you know, really, it's, it's very broad. Yeah. And, uh, it's a shotgun. It really is a shotgun. And so, yeah, this was on YouTube, and a lot of people were reached on YouTube, but we had Doug on Twitter and on Facebook, and we had some very targeted ad buys that hit specific uh, demographics that we were looking to reach. It's fantastic. You can be very much more targeted online, and I, I like the, you know, you, you've got control over it. It's not a shotgun. It's not just every, out there everywhere, and there, you can measure it. Exactly. Yeah, love it, love it. Now, talk a little bit more about um, Ford's approach to social media. You guys have all kinds of uh, it, all kinds of uh, Twitter handles, all kinds of Facebook pages. What do you do? You sit there in your think tank and you say, "Hmm, what are we going to post today?" <laughs> well, I wish it were that simple. We actually have a process uh, where we connect our social team with our content team and our marketing team. So communication, social, and marketing all together. Um, and every week we have uh, kind of an editorial review. And we look at what, what are the news making items that we're gonna be making as a company that mm -hmm. week, right? Mm -hmm. or what are the campaigns that are starting to break? Um, so we align everyone, we have this editorial process. It's really a conversation calendar and we map it out about two, three weeks in advance. I love that, people. Conversation calendar. It's not an editorial calendar. It's about having conversations, huh? There you go. And you, you know, I mean, you can't schedule every conversation, right? That's right, right. So Ske you gotta leave yourself gaps there and be willing to be flexible when people are talking back to you and how you can just reply on the, on the fly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I love it. Now, how do you how do you empower your people to all uh, talk for you? You have all you have so many voices. 
do, do people just kind of have the have the gumption to go out there and start talking? Well, there's some people that do. There's some uh, brand managers actually who have taken it upon themselves to walk right through our camera line. I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, who have taken it upon themselves to actually um, be the voice of the brand. Who, who you know, the, the the fusion brand manager, for example, is out there on Facebook and on Twitter representing the fusion, right? Yeah. So, and that's something that's sanctioned. We don't. We don't just let every employee go, you know, hog wild. We give them tools to actually be able to promote Ford and yeah. do it in a responsible way. But we still have our traditional spokespeople that are responsible for those official messages. Yeah. Right? That's great. Don't go hog wild. You can go a little hog wild, but in a in an official we, way. We like to think, <laughs> of it, uh, think of it as hog mild. <laughs> hog mild. I love it. Love it. Fantastic. Now, uh, you recently posted an article about content creation and things like, you know, being able to, to create a lot of content. How, what's your thought on all the focus on content creation here? Um, <laughs> We're kind of talking in a crowded space. <laughs> how do you how do you do with, deal with content? Well, um, you know, I mean, content is the currency of social. Mm. That is what people need to have these conversations. It's those Doug videos, it's tweets, it's a lot of things. Yeah. But if you're actually going to, um, if you're going to focus on content, you have to be really regimented about it, just as we are about the conversation calendar, right? And you need to understand that different content applies for different platforms mm -hmm. and that speaking to somebody on Twitter versus Facebook versus YouTube versus blogs and and they're very different audiences in each one you have to create content that's specific for each one yeah that's great that's great so think of that specific content conversation calendar out there I love what you guys are doing at Ford. I love the stories you guys tell. Tell us a little bit about the Ford Fusion before we go. Well, we love the Ford Fusion. It's the 2013 Ford Fusion. The The model you see here is uh, the standard version, but there's also, there you go, there's also a hybrid uh, and plug-in hybrid version, which look exactly the same. Uh, the hybrid version gets 47 miles per gallon in the city or uh, on the highway. And just last week, we certified the plug-in hybrid as getting 108 miles per gallon equivalent in the city. So 108 fun. miles! My good oh, lord! A great That's a car. lot of and miles. It, it's a lot of fun to drive too. So when you're doing those miles, you're actually traveling in style too. Oh, uh, it's it's hot. It's this is a hot car, people. It's 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 spicy. So I'm telling you, go check it out, Ford Fusion. Where can we find this online? Uh, you can find Ford Fusion online uh, with the great uh, Back At You campaign we've got going on now at YouTube.com slash Ford Fusion. Also Ford Fusion on Facebook, Ford Fusion on Twitter, and overall uh, social.ford.com. Awesome. And check out Scott Monty at ScottMonty.com. Love you, Scott. Thanks so much. Thank you, Grandma this Mary. This is a fantastic man here. <laughs> we'll talk to you next time.